Hello, my name is Andrew Bosquez, and today I'm going to be explaining Parallax to you. Now, Parallax was interesting to me because it uses uh, trigonometry, which was one of my favorite courses that I've taken, and I am an engineering major, so I do um, use a lot of math and applied mathematics, so it instantly caught my attention that we were using math and astronomy. Um, but basically what Parallax is, or uh, how we can look at it is, we can notice how objects move as we move side to side. And we can also notice that the objects further away from us are going to be moving at a smaller distance than the objects that are closer to us. Now, if we take these two distances, we can, we can make a triangle out of them. And using the distance that we're moving as the baseline, we'd be able to find the distance to those objects. Now, the way that this applies to astronomy is that we're able to um, measure the, the distance to stars this way. So the way that we do this, I have a small illustration here to show, <clears throat> but as Earth orbits the Sun, we can take the baseline or the diameter of that orbit, and then also the movement of uh, the star from one end of the orbit to the other, and we'd be able to get these distances here. Now, <clears throat> the line down the middle would be the distance from the Sun, and the hypotenuse of the triangle would be the distance to Earth. <clears throat> Now this is very interesting because, um, or it's very it's very good to know, and it's very good to teach this in the class because that's how we measure uh, the distances to stars, and it's a great question because a lot of people assume that, well, they really don't know how we measure it because there's no way to extend any tape measure or any such object to a star 20 light years away. However, we have parallax for that. Um, technological improvements to this theory include the European Space Agency's uh, telescope Gaia, which is able to um, it's able to map out a three-dimensional figure of the universe with about one billion stars, and um, it it does this using parallax at a very very high precision, and so this telescope is obviously uh, orbiting Earth. So it's above the Earth's atmosphere, and it can uh, get a broader view of the universe. But um, that is basically a parallax in a nutshell, and I hope that this video helped. Thank you.